Hello YouTube viewers, this is Dijin Jays from the Device Manager. In this video, I'll help you how to repair install Windows 10 easily without losing any data. If you're having trouble with your Windows 10 installation lately, then it's time to repair install Windows 10. The benefit of a repair install is that it doesn't install Windows 10 again. Instead, it just fixes the problems with your current Windows installation. Windows Repair Install is also known as Windows 10 in place upgrade or Windows 10 reinstallation. The benefit of this repair install is that it reloads Windows 10 system files and configuration without deleting any user data. So let's see how to repair this. Before that, you need to ensure that you have at least 9 GB of free space on your Windows drive, probably C. Also you have installation media USB or ISO ready. Make sure that the Windows setup is the same build and edition as the current Windows 10 installed on your system. The Windows 10 setup must be in the same language as the Windows 10 already installed on your system. This is very important for keeping your files after the repair. Make sure that you have downloaded the Windows setup in the same architecture, whether it is 32-bit or 64-bit. It should be in the same architecture as your current Windows 10 installation. Okay, now let's move on to the method. First, you need to create a Windows 10 installation media. For that, you need to download the Windows 10 setup uh, from the link which I've showed in the video. I've already given in the description as well. You can just have a look at the description and you can click on the link and it will direct you to the website where you can download the Windows 10 setup. In that website, you see an option like download tool now. Just click on it and save the file to your PC. After saving, you need to open that file and you will see a, a page like this and there you have to hit on accept and then after that again a window pops up. There you need to check create installation media for another PC. After giving a tick, you need to click on next. On select language architecture and edition screen, make sure that use the recommended options for this PC is checked. This is very important. You need to make sure that this use the recommended option for this PC is checked. And after checking it, again click next. Now you select ISO file and again click next. Uh, if you wish to use USB flash drive, also no issues, you can click on USB flash drive and uh, give next. But in this case, I am using ISO file. Now another window pops up and it will give uh, something like downloading Windows 10, progressing. And it will download the Windows 10 ISO uh, and it takes some time. Okay. Wait for 10, 15, 20 minutes, depends upon your network speed. Okay, after that, let's start repair from the installation media. Once you downloaded the ISO, mount the ISO with the virtual clone drive. If you have, if you don't have virtual clone drive in your PC, I've given it, I've given it in the description, the downloading link, and download the virtual clone drive and mount the ISO. You can use power ISO as well, no issues. And after mounting the ISO file, you just select setup.exe in the next screen you need to select download and install updates box select it and you need to check I want to help make the installation of Windows better just tick and hit next now then there will be another window showing the license terms and conditions you select accept now follow the on-screen instructions in which uh, you have to just click next, next, next. And the last dialog box is very important which has a title. Choose what to keep. And you need to select the first one. Keep Windows settings, personal files and apps. You need to check this. This is very important for keeping your files which is uh, currently in your PC. Otherwise, this repair can uh, delete all the data in your PC right now. So, 
check this first one key window settings personal files and apps after checking that you need to click next now your PC will automatically uh, reboot several times during the system image is being refreshed and uh, without losing any data no what don't worry about that it will take some some time 10 15 or 20 minutes that's all you have successfully learned how to repair install Windows 10 but if you still have any queries please feel free to ask them in the comment section if this video really helped you please give a thumbs up and uh, I've been making a lot of videos regarding Windows 10 issues and a lot of things regarding Windows 10 especially in the coming days so please subscribe my channel this is DJ JS signing off